What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, I want to give you a quick disclaimer. This is 100% a sponsored video. I had a company reach out. This is Ratio. They make some amazing dive computers. They reached out and they said, we want to send you a dive computer for an honest review. Whether you love it or hate it, we want to know. And not only did they send me the computer, they sent me the uh, LED transmitter that goes with it. They also sent me another component here, which is an oxygen analyzer that actually plugs to the computer and you can analyze your nitrox bottles. Uh, they sent me all the manuals. It comes with a bag, which is really cool. But they asked me to do an honest review on this computer, so I, that's exactly what this video is going to be. I'm going to talk about the pros to it, the cons of it, what I like, what I dislike. And then at the end of the video, I'm actually going to give you my honest thoughts on whether or not would I ever use the computer and then whether or not I would ever suggest it as a good computer for you. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at what comes with the package or what they actually sent me and the components you can get and then we'll break down each component how it works and then we're actually going to take it out and really dive with it I'm going to take it on the technical dive and we're going to see how it works in decompression mode we're going to test out all the GPS features to it and just kind of go from there and then I'll give you some final thoughts at the end of the video all right, guys, let's take a closer look really quick at everything that Ratio sent me. They sent me the IX3M2 GPS model. Uh, we're going to go into depth on what the GPS model means. And a quick disclaimer, this is the deep model. There's three computers that use the exact same housing. Uh, everything is identical between them with the exception of the code that's built into the system. And you can actually change the code. So you can change between models if you have the proper code. This happens to be the deep. You have the pro, the deep, and the tech plus. And there is some differences between them but with the deep plus here this computer is going to allow you to read up to three different mixes from air nitrox and of course even tri mix as well you're also going to get a charging adapter here so the charging adapter just simply plugs in and the cool thing about the charging adapter is the same charging adapter that we're going to use for the transmitter as well so we're going to see that shortly here in the video you're going to get your charge cable as well and then you're going to get some spare bungee what the spare bungee is for is if you choose not to use the depth compensating strap system here it's just elastic straps with uh, these quick cinch buckles you can actually trade them out for the say bungee so if you choose to use bungee over that you can very easily change it out and then of course separately you can get the uh, transmitter it's an LED transmitter and I know there's plenty of companies out there that make LED transmitters the cool thing about this particular one ratio started it they were the first company to come out with the LED transmitters and of course we're going to look at that transmitter in detail here shortly the second component they sent me of course was the O2 analog and this is just a typical O2 analyzer like you would analyze your nitrox bottles with. It's got the actually the same connector unit here as the uh, charging adapter. So it simply just plugs into your computer. And then, of course, you can go into calibrate mode and you can analyze whatever cylinder you're trying to analyze. You get a couple of different spare O-rings that come with the charging adapter and the analyze adapter there as well. And then, of course, the last thing they sent me, which comes with the computer, is the bag. This is just a neoprene waterproof bag that kind of folds up, clips together together and it makes it very useful if you're trying to carry all these units together. Now that we see everything they sent, let's actually break this computer into and see what all the settings are and how we're going to set it up to get it ready to use. Alright guys, I do want to talk about something really quick before we do that and that is make sure you are properly trained on whatever computer system you are using before you go out and dive it. That means read the manuals, uh, get training at your local dive center, take it in a pool and test dive it before you take it out into open water. If you want to learn more about how dive computers actually work and how the decompression theory and how the algorithms work, look at the SSI computer diving program. This is a great Great program. It's very in-depth. It's going to break down M values and gradient factors. It's going to show you how the sampling rates of certain dive computers work. And your SSI dive computer instructor is going to sit down with you and take your computer to the max. He's going to show you the ins and outs of it. And it's a great class as well. Remember, the SSI dive computer training class is going to apply towards your advanced and towards your master scuba diver cert. But it's more importantly, it's going to keep you safer anytime you're using a new computer. So with all that being said, Let's jump over here and let's look at all the cool features and all the different settings to the new Ratio Dive Computer. All 
All right, guys, when you first get your new ratio dive computer, you want to go ahead and get it set up and ready to use. And the first thing you want to do, of course, is charge it. Now, my computer's at 93%, and ratio recommends not using your computer if it's anything less than 30% battery power. We are going to go ahead and charge this up to 100% because it's super easy to do. All you need is your simple charge adapter that comes with the computer, and there's a little red or a little arrow here that kind of shows you how to install it into the computer itself. Once you've got it pushed in, you simply turn it to the left. Then you're going to simply take Take your charge adapting cable here and you are going to simply plug it in. You'll notice it says charging battery as soon as that plugs up. Now this is not the only thing you need to charge. We're also going to charge our transmitter if you choose to use a transmitter. It's going to operate the exact same way as what the computer itself does. You're going to take the exact same charging uh, adapter here. You're going to plug it into the transmitter and then of course we're going to par uh, plug in our charging cable as well. Now one thing that you will notice here is that once I get this plugged in, you're going to see a blue light. There are three different color lights that come on uh, as it's charging. Then once it's at 100%, it will turn blue. So if it's red, it's less than 30%. If it's yellow, it's less than 50%. If it's above 50%, it's going to be green. Then a full charge will turn blue. Now we are going to see a different color code as well as we use the transmitter um, on a first stage, but these are going to be the individual colors for the charging itself. Now that we are charged up and ready to go, you need to familiarize yourself with two major screens. This is going to be your surface screen here, and then of course if I go over to the view mode, this is going to be the dive screen. We're actually going to look at the surface screen first so that we can understand everything that the computer is actually telling us. Up in the top left hand corner, this is going to be our charge indicator and of course our satellite uh, connection. Here you'll see that there's no connection to any of the satellites. This is a GPS model, so it's going to log GPS coordinates as well. Now I am indoors right now. When I'm outside and I've got the GPS unit turned on, it will actually show how good of a strength or how good of a signal strength I've actually got. The next little area over is going to tell me the model. This happens to be the IX3M2 GPS Deep model uh, and I've got my name put in there as Diver Man there. So it's something that you can go in and change. And if you do have the codes for this particular computer, you can upgrade the computer itself to the Tech Plus model simply by inserting the codes. We'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video. Next over, we're going to have our time here and our date. You'll see today's date is May 5th, 2024. It is Sunday and it is currently 6.43 p.m. In the middle section here, you're going to have ambient pressure, temperature, and altitude. Yes, this thing will read altitude based off where you're at and the ambient pressure. On the right side, you're going to have the mode, whether it's open circuit or closed circuit. I've currently got it set up for fresh water. And then, of course, PS is going to be your conservatism, or in short, the algorithm that you want to set it for. Since I am not connected to a GPS satellite, it is currently saying no signal there. I do have it set up for air. This particular model, the deep model, will read three different air. It will read air, nitrox, and trimix. And of course over here on the right, that's going to be your GPS coordinates of where you're actually located. And you can log those in if you want to save those coordinates. Now dear here on the bottom, you're going to notice two different things. These numbers are showing up because I have used this computer. I have dove with this computer. It is shown currently that it's been 28 hours and 25 minutes since my last dive. So this is your surface interval clock here. And then over here, this is your DSAT clock. It says that I've got 19 hours and 29 more minutes before I DSAT out. And then of course it also has an airplane mode where you can go in here and it will tell you when you're going to be safe to fly. At the bottom, of course, you're going to have four different buttons and each button is going to correspond with what it says on the screen. So here on the right, it says main. If I go into main menu, these are going to be all my different settings for the main menu. So we're going to look at each one individually here shortly. If I back back out and I go into system, it's going to give me a separate set of settings that I can go in and change. This is your overall system settings. Back out of that as well, I'm going to have a compass mode where I can actually go into the compass. And when you have the GPS coordinates entered in, the compass will actually lead you to whatever dive site you have saved in. It's a really cool feature. And then, of course, view mode is going to switch over into what we would say is pre-dive. This is actually going to be the screen that you see when you're diving. Now, it is flashing right here simply because I don't have the transmitter connected to a cylinder yet. But if its transmitter is connected and it is paired, it will actually read your air pressure there. This middle section is actually going to be blank for a while. However, as you start diving, numbers will start appearing. It's going to give you several different numbers. You can actually 
actually bring up your compass in dive mode as well. It'll show the compass there in the middle. And if you insert or go into deco throughout your dive, all your deco information, your stops, all that's going to pop up there as well. But that is the basic two screens that you need to understand, the dive screen and, then of course, the surface uh, mode screen as well. Now that you've got a general understanding of the two main screens, let's jump into the main menu and see some of the settings that you can set up for this particular computer. Under the main menu setting here, I'm going to have dive sets 1 and 2, which is where you're actually changing the settings of the computer. You're going to have a mix table and an app menu. These are the coolest features, in my opinion, because this is where you can go in and you can set up your individual mixes that you're going to be breathing. And under the app menu, there is a gas blender uh, feature built in where it can show you what blends you need uh, as you're mixing your gas. And it's also that's where you're going to set up your uh, analyzer to analyze the gas as well. Now down at the planner mode, this is where, you're, of course, you're going to plan your dives. You have a logbook feature where you can go back and review your uh, dives. You can set up all different types of alarms on this computer. And the other cool feature here is the waypoints. This is where the GPS feature comes in as well. Taking a quick look at dive set one, if I enter that screen, you'll notice I can change the water, say, from fresh to salt. I can jump down to dive mode, and I can set it up for either scuba, gauge mode, or, of course, free diving mode. We're going to leave this one obviously in scuba mode. And then I can even change the algorithms from a VPN or even a Bullman stop setting. I'm going to leave mine on Bullman 16 version C there as well. PS, that's going to be your conservatism of your algorithms itself. So you can change the conservatisms or in short you can change the individual gradient factors. Now it is important to state that on the deep model, which this particular computer is, uh, you're not going to be able to customize the gradient factors uh, individually. There are already preset and you check you end up setting the conservatism you want on the next version up which is the tech plus you can actually go in and set custom gradient factors if you want to you can do your deco control on or off if you want to and that's pretty much dive settings one if we back out and drop down to dive sets two this is where we're going to go into other features such as how long do you want to set a safety uh, stop for how what's the deep or uh, deepest part of the safety stop do you want it at 15 feet 16 feet all the way down to say 20 feet you can set that you can turn deep stop on and off and you can change your last stop maybe you want to do your last stop at say 10 feet if you're in fresh water or even say 20 feet if you're in salt water cool thing about doing it at 20 feet, you're not caught in that surge like you would, say, at 10 foot. And of course, you can change the surface interval. The thing about the surface interval is, this is, let's say you surface mid-dive, you check something, maybe you're checking a heading or something, and then you head back down. It will still calculate it as a single dive. Currently, I've got it set for five minutes. That means I need to be surfaced for at least five minutes before the computer will kick out and log a new dive. So that's going to finish up dive settings too. If we back out and we drop down to mix table, this is where we're actually going to go in and set our individual mixes. So currently I have two mixes built into this computer. I have a standard back gas of 21% and I have a deco gas of 39%. This particular model will set up to three individual gases to where the Tech Plus model will end up reading uh, 10 individual gases as well. Back out of there, and of course, we are going to go on down to App Menu. Now, this is one of the coolest features to this computer. It's one of the ones that I really like here. As I enter in, you're going to notice that there's a mix analyzer and a gas blender. We're going to drop down to gas blender really quick and enter into there. With gas blender, this is where you can go in and calculate uh, how much, say, O2 or helium you need for a particular gas. So you can start with whatever. You can end with whatever you want, and it's going to tell you actually how to mix the gas. Now, this is a very unique feature on this computer because you can literally use the computer for everything. You don't have to do it on paper anymore. You don't have to have any type of, uh, say, gas blender uh, program. You can actually use your computer to do it, and you can do it for both uh, nitrox and trimix as well. Now, the second part of that, which is the mix analyzer, this is where you're actually going to analyze a nitrox blend. So once you have the analyzer attached to to the computer it will do a self-calculation. It takes about 30 seconds to do a self-calculation. And then, of course, you can analyze a cylinder. And it can analyze any blend up to, say, 99, 99%, which is a really cool feature as well. That also means that you can use your own dive computer and not have to carry a separate analyzer with you. Now, moving on back to the main menu, of course, we're going to drop down to planner mode. And planner mode is a dive planner. It's just like using a set of dive tables or any other dive computer out there. Uh, and the cool thing is here, too, you can actually go in 
in, depending on what algorithm you're using, you can actually go in and set up uh, decompression dives as well. So a great example here, let's say based off the uh, algorithm that I'm using now and the two mixes that I'm using, if I say evaluate this particular plan here, you'll see it's going to come up with a decompression table for me and it's going to tell me a certain depth for a certain amount of time. It's going to tell me where my first stop is. It's also going to tell me that I need to switch gas at that depth and then of course I can switch back to come on back to the surface. So the planner feature is not just a recreational planner, it's also a technical planner as well. Now moving on over to logbook, of course if you enter that screen, this is simply just going to go through your logs and there's many different screens that you can go through. Uh, you've got a table screen here, you've also got a graph screen here. It'll tell you what you start and ended with. If you're using the transmitter, it'll tell you your start and end time. And all this information is downloadable, downloadable too with a ratio software, which I'll show you here briefly. And it's really super intuitive to use. It's going to give you a lot of different information from the time you went into DECO to what your gradient factors were. There's a lot of great information you can get from the dive software as well. Moving on down to alarm sets here. This is basically where you can go in and you can set whatever alarm you want on or off. If you want your ascent alarm turned off, you can turn it off. If you want to turn it on, vice versa. Uh, you can set up a depth alarm and time alarm. If you're using this computer to teach with, maybe you want to make sure you hit that 20-foot depth for 20 minutes for those open water students. As an instructor, you can set it to where it's going to beep to let you know, hey, you hit 20 feet. Hey, you've been there for 20 minutes. So it's a really cool feature for dive instructors as well. Back now, and let's look at waypoints really quick. And I am going to show you more in depth how the waypoints in a GPS system works. But once you have waypoints uh, saved into the feature, and this particular computer will save up to 20 waypoints, which is really cool. You can go in and select those waypoints, and it will take you to whatever destination or whatever uh, dive spot you've already got saved in. As we back back out, now we're going to go into the system menu here. So we're just going to hit that uh, button there. And this is where we're going to change several different things. We're going to change our display, our general sets, our PC mode, transmitter, GPS sets, compass, default, info, and we can even switch the computer off. Jumping right into the display itself, this is where you can change the brightness levels, you can change the different colors of the screen, or you can leave it set where it's at. Now a lot of these features such as the surface light and the dive light and all that, if you set it on high mode where I currently have it, it is going to run your battery down a lot faster than if you're on a lower mode, but in all honesty, I've not had any trouble with this battery lasting you know, a good solid week or so, depending on how much you actually dive. Dropping down to general sets, we're going to enter that screen and you'll see this is our time zone. We can change our time, we can change our date, we can change uh, our units, say from the uh, imperial system. If you like the metric, we can do that as well. And then our log rate as well, we can go into how often it's going to log information for us. Back and back out, let's go into PC mode. Now for PC mode, you want to make sure that it is activated before you actually plug it up to the computer. So you're going to activate it, it's going to read ready, and then of course you're going to use the same adapter that we did when we charged it as our PC cable. Once it's plugged in, of course, it will connect directly to the computer as well. You plug your cord in, and then you can bring up the, the ratio software. Now, once you do that, this is where you can go in and you can change different things. You can actually back back out, and this is where we change uh, our name up here at the top of the screen. We can download our dives. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that software once it's in PC mode. Back and back out, we'll drop down to the transmitter. This is where you are going to pair your individual transmitters. This particular one will allow you to pair up to three different transmitters. And another little cool feature to the transmitters of this system, if you are changing gases, maybe you're changing from a back gas to a deco gas, or let's say you have two transmitters and you're in a side mount configuration, once you start breathing off a different system that has that transmitter, it's going to automatically change your computer. So for example, if I'm in side mount, maybe I'm breathing off my left bottle and now I've switched over to my right bottle. Once the computer has registered that that pressure has dropped, it's automatically going to change. Same thing in a deco situation. You don't have to physically go down to your computer and make that switch. It's going to make it for you as long as you have a transmitter on each system that you're breathing off of. So that's another cool little feature. You can you can also change the gain on here if you need a little bit more signal strength coming out. Maybe if you run your transmitter, say, on the left, but your computer's on the right or vice versa, then, of course, you can get that little bit extra gain to push out there as well. Once it's connected, of course, it will read your pressure both here and it will read your pressure on the dive screen as well.
Back and back out, let's jump into GPS sets. This is the second coolest feature about this computer that I personally like. Once we're in GPS set here, we can turn GPS mode on and off, and we can select certain satellites for it to connect to. What that's really useful for is if you're trying to log a dive site at the surface, maybe you found something on your sonar of your boat, you can actually log those GPS coordinates in it, and now, no matter where you're at, once you're in compass mode, this computer will lead you back to that dive site. Now, it's important to note this only works at the surface. It's not going to work underwater for you. But if you're trying to get back to a specific dive site and maybe you don't have a sonar on your boat, you can actually use this as a GPS unit to get back to there. Uh, once you have it set up, you have it turned on, you have the satellite set that you want, you can actually go into sampling time. And that time is how often it's sending a signal or receiving a signal from the satellite as well. And I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, clips of that as well as we're using this. Back and back out, let's jump over into the compass mode. And of course, in compass mode, we can set our declination. We can set either for the eastern or western hemisphere. And then we can calibrate the compass as well. Now, calibrating is super easy. Once you go down, it's going to tell you how to do it. Not only in the user manual, it's also going to show you on the screen how you actually calibrate the compass. Super easy to do. It takes about 30 seconds, and you are calibrated up and ready to go. If we drop down to default here, this is where we can go, and we can reset the computer itself. We can go back to default settings. Maybe we're trying to sell this computer to somebody or we can reset our tissues as well. We can do a default setting there as well. Jumping on down to info, this is just the info for the computer itself. Talks about the serial number, what model you have, and it's important to note if you have the right code and you upgrade this computer to say the Tech Plus, it will change that on the screen as well to let you know that that's the computer you've got. The last part that we're going to look at is the switch off. Basically think of this as how you put your computer to sleep. If we drop down to switch off and we go into enter, of course it's going to put the computer to sleep. This is going to help conserve battery. Maybe you're not going to be diving for a week or two or maybe up to a month. Put it to sleep. It will help conserve the battery power as well. To turn it back on, we simply hit one of the buttons and the screen's going to come back on and it's going to be ready to use. All right, guys, this final review time of the iX3M2 GPS model here from Ratio. And, of course, this was the deep version. It comes in three different versions, the Pro, the Deep, and the Tech Plus. And a simple code that you can put in through the software will change it in between the individual uh, models as well. Uh, quick pros and cons. What did I like? What did I not like? And would I ever use it or recommend you using it? Uh, pros to it, it's a super easy, intuitive computer to use. It only gives you the information that you need. No, There's no additional fluff. It's not what I call a cartoon computer. It's got a wide screen. It's super easy to use. And even underwater and turbid water, it's super, super easy to use or to read as well. Um, as far as charging both the transmitter and the computer, it's one charging adapter. You simply plug it in, plug up your cord, and off you go. doesn't take very long to charge the computer as well. Um, and the fact that it tells you on the screen that it's charging and what the percentage is, I really like that. So it's super easy to set up. The individual menus, are super easy to use as well. They're going to tell you exactly what the settings are, what the setting does. If you need any additional help in that, you can download the manual on Ratio's website. Super easy to read. It's going to go through every single setting, show you what it's used for and how to set it up based off uh, whatever type of diver you are as well. Um, I love the fact, once again, it's got an analyzer. It's got a built-in analyzer, a built-in gas blender, a built-in uh, gas mixer, and it can even plan recreational and technical dives. It's going to show you your technical table on there as well. So once you have it planned, you can simply transfer it over to your slates as well. So super intuitive to use. I love it, guys. It's super easy. Uh, let's talk about the transmitter really quick. The transmitter, even though I'm not a transmitter guy, you know, I use air integrated computers, but I don't use the transmitter. I actually like this one, and there was a couple of features that I really like about it. First of all, 
how easy it is to charge. You don't have to open this guy up to charge it. You take the same charging adapter that you did for the computer. You simply plug it in, plug it to your wall charger or whatnot, and it's even going to be uh, color-coded for charge. So not only is the color code going to tell you about your air pressure, it's also going to tell you about your charge as well and where your battery is. So I love that. I love the fact that I don't have to open it up to physically change a battery. Um, super easy. Now, unfortunately, I did not get to test the automatic change, which I was super excited about. I didn't get to test that. Once again, what is that? If you have two transmitters, two different gas sources, once you physically make a switch to another gas source, whether it's, say, between two side mount bottles or, say, back gas to deco gas, your computer is automatically going to pick it pick up that there was a pressure drop and it's going to change over to that transmitter. You don't have to physically make the change on your computer. So I really like that feature. Unfortunately, I didn't get to test it. Now, the transmitter does come with this little cover. We didn't really talk about the cover earlier, but I do want to talk about it briefly really quick. You can put this cover on to help protect it. It's just a neoprene cover. And when I was using this, I had it set up on, say, a set of back-mounted doubles, and I actually had the transmitter uh, covered like this. Now, there are some pros and cons here. Uh, first of all, you're going to kind of render the LED purpose of it useless because now you can't see what color it is if you need it. Uh, but the pro is, of course, it's going to help protect this. So if you brush it up against something, you're not going to scar it up. So I did like the cover there. Um, would I actually use the transmitter for its purpose, the LED? Probably not, but you may. So if you're going to do that, I would suggest not using the cover. Just leave the cover off of it. But it's super easy. It just screws into a first stage, or you can even put it on a shorter hose if you need to. But really quick, what are some of the cons? First of all, it is extremely heavy. This computer is pretty heavy up here on land. Once you're wearing it though, you're underwater. It doesn't hardly weigh anything underwater, so you can't even tell it's on. But here on land, it is kind of heavy. Uh, another con that I actually had with it is as I was going through the modes, especially in the GPS, it did take a while for it to connect to a satellite. And I did find that it was having some difficulty depending on what satellite was directly above me, it would lose that connection. So sometimes I would have to reconnect it, turn it off, turn it on. But that's a given. If there's not a satellite directly above your head, then you are going to have that difficulty but really that's it other than you know the satellite losing connection from time to time and of course just the simple fact that it's a heavy computer here on land i love this computer would i recommend this computer for you or would i personally use this computer first of all let's cover me would i use this computer yes and i do plan on using this computer for any technical diving from here on out i am going to switch over make this my primary computer um would i suggest you you and that well it depends it depends on what features you want what features you need uh if you want an all-in-one system that comes with the o2 analyzer the uh transmitter yes definitely look into this. If you're wanting a more simple base computer, maybe you're not getting into technical diving or advanced style diving, then no, it's probably not going to be the best computer for you. There's going to be some better options out there. But if you are looking to upgrade, you're wanting to get into technical diving, or even say for that public safety diver or uh, UCI like I am, this is going to be a great option as well, simply for the GPS mode that is built into it. Super intuitive, super easy to use, and I really think it's going to be great to add to your arsenal as well. But guys, that is my final review of the Ratio IX3M2 uh, dive computer. Once again, this was the deep model. You can get up to three different models, and with a simple code, you can change between models as well. But do your own research. Read up on it. Ask other users that are using it. See what you can find out on the internet for it. And hey, if you're here close to Lake Hicker Scuba, swing on by. We'll let you take it out and test dive it as well. But guys, that's going to be it for our review. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I will probably be making an entire series just on this computer, going more in depth on the individual features. If you like this, let me know if you want to see a series, and I'll be glad to make one for you as well. But that's going to do it for today. Once again, thank you, Ratio, for reaching out to us. Yes, I plan on using this computer. Yes, I would recommend this to any, say, technical diver or advanced diver that wants to advance on. Um, I think it's going to be a great model for them. I think it's a great uh, system as well. And the fact that you've made it intuitive between the different models, that's a great option as well. But guys, that's going to do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.